guys, so today I'm going to be doing my May favourites. Um, it's been quite a few products, like new ones that I've bought for the past month and I've absolutely been loving. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it and the first thing is this lipstick that's been in my collection for quite a while. So my first product is this YSL Rouge for Lips lipstick in... I think this is number 7 because it's lingerie pink and I like the packaging, I like the consistency, I like the formula I absolutely love the colour and I've had this for quite a while actually, it's not new I've had it in my lipstick collection for probably over a year now and it's one of those lipsticks that you kind of forget about but then um, a couple of weeks ago I was looking for a baby pink and then I just got this back out and ever since then I've been wearing it non-stop and I have it on now and it's just this really pale baby pink which is sometimes hard to find because when you buy baby pinks they come out like um, a light pink but this is a very milky true baby pink and of course the packaging is absolutely gorgeous YSL never go wrong with their packaging um, so yeah YSL Rouge for like Ooh. Why is our rouge for looked in number 7 lingerie pink? Next is a body moisturiser and this is the Jergens Naturals Ultra Hydrating in Intensive Body Moisturiser and this is the one with the blue leaf on and I actually got first got my Jergens in a goodie bag and I'm to be honest, I'll admit that I never heard of the brand before, but then I got it out from my goodie bag and I started using it and I absolutely fell in love. And then obviously I've been buying more and more and this is a new one that I bought last week. Um, I just really like how they sink in really quick and it doesn't leave any sticky residue on the legs or the body. And normally when I moisturise at night time, I wake up in the morning and I have kind of dry skin again but with these um, Jergens Naturals that doesn't happen and my skin stays moisturised for 24 hours so I really like it, I like the smells, I like how light it is I like the squeezy packaging, it's just easy to use so this is the Jergens Natural Ultra Hydrating Intensive Body Moisturiser Next is a product that I've been raving so much about on Twitter uh, because for the summer I'm not really into thick tanning. I don't tan a lot although I might try it this um, summer but I just wanted something to give me a nice even finish on my legs um, just to cover up any blotchiness, any blemishes and I didn't really want to put foundation or makeup on the legs so someone suggested this to me, I think it was in, um, I think it was Sammy from Beauty Crush, I think she had it in one of her um, videos and one of her favourite videos, so I thought I'd give it a go and it's the Sally Henson Airbrush Legs and I've got it in medium glow and I absolutely love this stuff, like when it says Airbrush Legs, that's what it does, like I've been using this every single day since I've um, had it, well when I've been getting my legs out obviously but um, everyone around me has been loving it as well and have been noticing the difference and a lot of my girlfriends and when I was working on a shoot they've all nicked it off me and used it as well and I can't praise this enough it's the Sally Henson Airbrush Legs it's, I'm probably just going to do a full review on my blog post with um, pictures and comparisons um, but for now yeah I'm just going to let you guys know that this is absolutely amazing and I would recommend this to anyone the Sally Henson Airbrush Legs next is this Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray which is quite pricey and I have to admit I was a bit dubious about buying it because there's so many other surf sprays and salt sprays out there on the market and I have bought um, quite a few, few salt sprays throughout my um, time of life or shall I say um, throughout the time that I've been interested in them and none of them have come close to this one I did pay £19.50 for it so it is fairly expensive in comparison to the drugstore ones which are probably about 6 or £7 
but I have to admit that this is amazing I have it on my hair right now and all I did was um, wash my hair and then I towel dried it, scrunched it and just put this throughout my hair evenly um, just quite sparsely as well you don't want to put too much on and it gives you that really nice gritty salty hair that just stays there so I would say that if you're a fan of sleek straight hair and smooth hair then salt sprays or sea sprays are pro probably not your kind of thing because it does tend to give that grittiness um, but if you're a fan of bed head hair and you like the whole messy shaggy type of hair look then definitely check this out and this is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray and I got this online although you can get it in some hairdressers and shops and again I really like the packaging it, I think that what you pay for you get what you pay for it's £19.50 and it comes in this gorgeous bottle so no plastic bottle or um, seafood bottle it's really nicely packaged and yeah I just really like it and it's probably the best one that I've come across and it doesn't give any stickiness which I find that drugstore surf sprays tend to do so yeah it's, I just love it and this is a Bumble and Bumble surf spray um, dry shampoo I've bought a few dry shampoos um, in the past year and I always end up coming back to this one because it's cheap, it works the best and it smells gorgeous um, but Batiste dry shampoo comes in a lot of different um, flavours and smells and I just happen to get this one I like how it instantly absorbs all the oil in your hair um, even if just halfway through the day um, I get oiliness around maybe my fringe area where the hair's been on my face and it's gone a bit greasy which sounds gross but um, I always have a small can in my bag and I just like to just spray it and make sure it's absorbed all the oil and it doesn't look greasy basically and it just does such a great job and of course it adds a little bit of volume as well and everybody likes a bit of volume in their hair so yeah it's just as it says instant hair refresh and that's just what it does and it's cheap it's affordable it works well so there's nothing that I can fault it really and I do understand why it's probably the best selling dry shampoo in the UK so yeah Batiste dry shampoo a big thumbs up the final product this month is a makeup product and it's the L'Oreal gel eyeliner and I have this on right now and I haven't got much eyeshadow on instead I've gone for quite a heavy eyeliner all the way around my eye and a little bit of elongated at the ends and this is just the L'Oreal Gel Intensa Eyeliner Number no. 1 Pure Black and I like it because it doesn't dry out it's still quite a nice consistency even though I've been using it for several months um, it blends really nicely, it's really smooth, it's really black, it's really pigmented, it dries really quickly and best thing of all, once it's on, it doesn't budge unless of course you wipe it off with eye makeup remover but it doesn't smudge or it doesn't budge throughout the day. Sm it doesn't smudge, it doesn't budge, that just rhymed. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just stays on all day long and I really like it and of course it's a drugstore price so it's quite affordable and the packaging is nice as well it's probably my favourite drugstore gel eyeliner so far that I've come across and it's just the L'Oreal gel eyeliner which you can get in your boot, super drug or your local drugstore probably um, yeah so that was my May favourites and um, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it I hope you all have an amazing Jubilee weekend um, for those of you who don't live in the UK um, might not know but I'm pretty sure you do because it's quite a big thing um, it's the Queen's Diamond Jubilee this weekend and everybody's going to be celebrating so I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you in my next video that, um, okay finally is a make